All right, the humidity's picked up. There's the feel of storms possible, and we know some areas have already gotten some rain. Yeah, some areas have gotten rain, and um, hopefully it won't be too bad this weekend because it's Father's Day and so many other events. Meteorologist Ray Petland, what's in store for us? Well, so far, our rain today has been pretty light, and stuff trying to pop nearby is having a hard time. Our, our humidity isn't quite off the charts enough to, to help fuel anything big just yet. And the clouds have been holding back some of the uh, extra incoming energy from the sun, which is actually very helpful to keep these uh, thunderstorms so far squashed. But through the next couple of hours, there is still that potential that we could see a strong to severe thunderstorm trying to get its act together. Right now, we see some rain up to the north. At times, there has been a little lightning with this as it was passing through northern Butler County. Rymersburg, steady rain just uh, north of Cowan Shannock and traveling uh, along the uh, Clarion and Armstrong County line. There is a little more trying to pop back towards New Philadelphia, so we'll watch that. But the big stuff is happening right now in uh, western Ohio. This is out towards Dayton. They've had several storms that have been strong to severe. There have been several tornado warnings associated with the storms out that way. And the dynamics for the stronger storms are actually in central Ohio, although one or two might try to make it here. So the enhanced area, the orange, that is where there's the best potential to see storms of that magnitude into the coming hours. Now, when you cross over the, the state line here, we're in what's called the slight category, which means scattered strong to severe thunderstorms and wind and hail are going to be the biggest things we'll look for. But anything's possible with a with a setup like this. So into the coming hours, our chances for storms are going to go up a little bit, and that's going to be happening pretty much about eight, nine o'clock. 79 in Cranberry right now, Catanning 80 degrees as well as Morgantown, 77 in Beaver Falls, Clarion 78, 78 Newcastle. So temperatures pretty close to each other in those upper 70s to low 80s. And there's that cloud deck over Pittsburgh. And when you have clouds, it blocks that incoming energy. So over the next couple of hours, yeah, we're going to see some thunderstorms starting to pop, but hopefully that keeps them below severe levels. Now, we've been watching these showers and thunderstorms approach the state line. In the next 40 minutes, they're going to get a little closer, and then we're going to start seeing more of this activity trying to pop up later on tonight. That moves on tomorrow. Early on, some spotty showers into the afternoon. This is where we start seeing some pop-ups trying to develop again, and a couple of these might have some gusty winds associated with them right on into Saturday evening. Then we catch a break Sunday morning. Maybe a spotty shower, but in the afternoon, a few thunderstorms try to get their act together. But overall, I think Sunday is not a washout. You just might have a little rain delay to contend with there. Monday, scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially for the afternoon and evening. That's with a cold front that'll take our temperatures and humidity levels down again. 67 for tonight. After our uh, evening thunderstorms, we'll see some spotty areas of rain trying to develop overnight and tomorrow. You're looking at 82 muggy degrees with some scattered thunderstorms. It's Father's Day, a little pop up here, a little pop up there. Not a complete washout, still warm and muggy at 83. Warmer still Monday, 87, mainly afternoon thunderstorms. Those will carry over into early Tuesday, followed by much cooler temperatures for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And with these storms inching their way towards us, or at least trying to, make sure you have the KDK Weather app. There's an interactive radar and Futurecast built into it, along with all the other cool features. Go to the App Store or Google Play and search CBS Pittsburgh.